Today I'm going to be talking about my feelings, my likes, my dislikes, and my thoughts about the KNF Magnetic Variable ND Filter. What's up everybody, my name is Jason from EO7 Media and today I am not in my normal place of vlogginess because I am literally getting ready for a shoot in the morning. I have to be up at 1 a.m. It is 4.46 p.m. I gotta go to bed very soon. I really wanted to do a quick video because otherwise I'd forget and I am going to be sending something back that did not meet my approval standards, so let's talk about it. So up until now, I have been using two variable ND filters for my cameras. The shoot I'm on right now requires an immense amount of run and gun. Basically, we are chasing things around the city, jumping out of the car, quickly shooting, getting back in the car, not enough time to even put the cameras away or sometimes, sadly, even put a lens cap on. And so far, I've been using two variable ND filters, one from KNF, which I really like, and then one from Tiffin, which is less on my like scale. So this is the KNF Concept Nano X. 67 millimeter variable ND filter, and it's a variable ND of ND32. So it does have five stops, which I really like, and it does kind of lock in place when you get to one end or the other, which I really like. So once you're as open as it'll go, it locks. So once you get to ND32, it won't get any darker than that. Contrast to that, we have the Tiffin variable ND filter, again, the 67 millimeter, and it goes all the way around, and it goes from open to dark to open to dark, and it just keeps going like that. The problem with this is if it's at a very, very, very bright shot outside, the sun is cooking down, uh, I need to put this as high as it'll go, but my major issue is when you go all the way to the darkest point, just the middle part gets dark, and then on the sides is still really bright. It's really annoying and I can't use it at that setting. So I have to pull it back and then I have to adjust my shutter, which I really don't like doing. I, I'm using this right now, but because of that issue, I really wanted something quick, easy, and closer to my KNF, which I really like. Lo and behold, KNF has a magnetic variable ND filter. Whoa. As you can see from the color tone, the sun just came out from the rain. Not perfect, but I really want to move on. We have the variable ND filter, which I am surprised more companies don't have, at least until I got it today to test it out. So first of all, I received the KNF magnetic ring and polarizer and lens cap, which I really, really didn't need but the variable ND filter didn't have a lens cap and I thought that was a big problem. So I ended up buying the set of the magnetic ring, the polarizer and the lens cap because on the Amazon website it said the magnetic variable ND filter could just stack on top of the polarizing ND filter and then the lens cap can go on top of everything. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The other thing I really don't like about the magnetic ring, which I tried to do, is I thought you could have the magnetic ring on and then take off the ND filter or the variable ND filter and still have that ring on and then throw on my other variable ND filter, but always have that one ring on because why swap things out? A lot of us video people are running gun. We don't have time to swap out ND filters as it is. That's why variable ND filters are so amazing. If I have to keep the magnetic ring on, but I can't put anything else on top of it, that's kind of dumb for me too. But here's the kicker and the reason I wanted to make the video today. We have on my rig right here, man, that is really dark. Sun comes out, sun goes away. This is why I hate working in the sun. So I have my rig here, right? And I have the magnetic ring on the rig. And this, and that's how fast it attaches to the magnetic ring. And now you're ready to go. I'm ready to shoot. However, we are running gun. So that means this is going to go into the back seat. It's going to be leaning against something. We are going to be running in and out. And just like the name entails, we are literally sprinting up and down streets, holding the camera, running past a bunch of stuff. Here is the issue. That is, I'm barely putting any effort into taking this at all. Like it takes more effort to lift up my plate of pizza right here. That is more effort than that. Like I almost want to just like kind of flip it off, but I don't want it to fall here. Let me look at something real quick. Getting a nice pillow. All right, so I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm re- 
Oh my God. Okay. That literally fell off way faster than I thought it was going to. You follow me camera guy. Okay. So the one thing we do have is when you put it on and kind of spin it around a little bit, it feels like it kind of locks in place. And I thought that would like lock in place. So we had to spin it and then you could take it off, but goes on, spins, lock, locks in place. And I'm moving stuff. Good God. Okay. I'm shooting, I'm changing up my hand style a little bit, moving stuff around and moving over here. Oh God. I, okay. That one fell off and I didn't even like feel it. This is borderline useless for me. I can see this being really good in an extremely controlled environment where you're not moving, where literally like no one walks in front of the camera or even like moves around the camera or heaven forbid you have to go handheld or, you know, you're shooting anything that's not like tripod or shooting anything that it's not like locked down tripod. But the issue is it's not trustworthy. I mean, look how easy that falls off. I am putting zero effort into that whatsoever. So now, unfortunately, I have to go back to my variable ND filter that I don't like and that sucks, but it's way better than having a $90 variable ND filter that will literally just fall off and crack on our very first stop of the day. It's not worth it to me. So. It gets returned. It's, it's a shame because I love having innovative gear like this and for running gun, magnetic is amazing. It's perfect. Now I did test this with the other one too and both of them fall off just as easy. So that's a shame and this is definitely getting returned. What do you think about the KNF magnetic variable ND filters? And, and personally, I'm not interested in ND filters with the magnetic ring. It has to be variable. It has to have the ability for me to run and gun, run inside, outside without being able to change anything. Do any of you guys out there know of a magnetic variable ND filter setup? Um, because I would love, I would love something that could really, really work in a run and gun situation. What do you guys think? What do you guys do? Do you not worry about the variable ND? Do you crank the shutter speed? So having a magnetic variable ND filter would be a dream come true, but unfortunately this isn't it. This is, a giant bummer. Guys, thank you so much. I've been Jason from EO7 Media. I hope the lights here aren't insanely bright, even though I can see in the monitor that they are. And seriously, write down in the comments. I want to hear your comments, thoughts about variable ND filters and what you know and what you use. And if you think I'm being too anal about this, guys, have a great day, be better and do something awesome today.